Okay, welcome back to another video. And this one is going to cover the social elements. Now these are buttons um, that people can use to share the page or uh, you've seen follow buttons so that they can follow you on different uh, social media services. So let's just jump right in and we'll look at the sharing buttons first. Obviously you can see it says share this page. You can change this text to something that you want. Um, we have a few different options. We have Facebook, Google+, and then Twitter. You can see when I hover over it, it already has kind of an explanation of what these are. So if someone doesn't know or they have a screen reading device, they'll be able to see that this is a share link for Twitter. Um, there are a few different options here. The first one is you can do the inverse. So that gives you, you can see here when you roll over it, it gives you the color as opposed to the normal is the color and then it goes to black when you roll over it. Uh, you can have a background image here with a parallax effect and an overlay. So all of our normal, um, all of our normal options, I guess, for that. You can choose a different background color. So if you wanted to set this off and then maybe give it the inverse, that would really set off this page, uh, this section. And then when they roll over it, uh, the user rolls over it, you can see that it goes to uh, the color of the icon. Uh, you can choose to hide or show the counters. You see that? This basically just tells you this has been shared 102 times to Facebook, 47 times to Google+, zero times to Twitter. So you can show, choose to show or hide those. And then it says it will share the current page uh, on Facebook, Google, or Twitter. So you can actually take those off. Let's say you only have a Twitter account or you only want people to share the content to Twitter. Then you could do that. I think it's wise to have the option to share to all of these. Um, because you never know who's using what social network to to share your information and sharing is good. So that is the sharing block. Now the second block that they have is called the follow block. And this is where the user gets an opportunity to follow you on several different <coughs> uh, popular social media platforms. Probably all of these are the most popular. Twitter, Facebook, Google+, YouTube, Instagram, Pinterest, GitHub, which is a place for uh, uh, web developers or people who code. Um, they can share their code and work together collaboratively. Behance is a network of designers who can show off different portfolio pieces. Tumblr is a tumble log similar to WordPress. LinkedIn is obviously LinkedIn and then Google Play. So they will be able to, if you had an app, on the Google Play Store, you could direct them uh, to the Android um, marketplace. Let's look at the block parameters here. You can choose to show or hide a background image, and then you can change the background color. And you might be saying, "Well, I don't have, <laughs> I don't have an app, I don't have a tumble log, I don't have Behance." Well, the way that you can get rid of these, it gives you all of them by default. But if you go through, you can actually change uh, change them to different colors, which doesn't seem to do much. Um, you can remove them just like this. So let's say you don't have any of these. You only keep, well, maybe Instagram. But you don't have Google+. And you don't want to cull down, you know, your selection here. So you just click on it and then it gives you some parameters and then you would change the link here. You wouldn't change this because this is what they're using to display the icon. So you would change this part at the URL and then you could uh, link that internally to a page or to a different part of the website. Or you can do it to an outside URL and you could even open it in a new window which would keep your website open here while opening it in a new tab or new window uh, so then they would be able to just close that tab and come right back to your website which is uh, 
I think a preferred way for most people to create uh, what are called external links which goes off of your website onto a different page uh, so that is the follow <clears throat> element and then we also went over the sharing element and you can put these anywhere on the page you can actually uh, drag and drop them just like you would any element so you can move them all around the page uh, you can put them in at the at the end of articles you can put them anywhere on the page that you want to uh, so it's a great tool to have and all they have to do let's look at the function of it the code for them to actually share the page is already built in or to follow you so these would be just external links to your uh, let's say your Facebook page or your Twitter profile or your YouTube channel and then you would just click on that this is going to go to uh, the Moby Rise YouTube channel because that's the URL that they put in there and then this one actually has a, a kind of a sharing widget so if you want to share this page you would click that and it opens this widget and you can see all you have to do is type in your tweet and then for me I would have to log in because I'm not logged in right now or if you wanted to share it on Facebook let's see if it's going to share it maybe it won't issue with the Facebook but here is your uh, Google Plus um, I'm obviously not signed in so um, and for some reason it's not pulling up the uh, Facebook but normally the Facebook one works from what I've seen uh, so that makes it super simple for people to just click on one of these buttons and share it to their own uh, social media uh, profiles so that's the sharing button and the follow buttons. Uh, thanks for following along. The next one that we'll talk about is the pricing tables. So if you're selling a product, uh, it'd be a good video to watch.